Welcome to this two-part series on starting your first campaign in a Total War Saga Troy. With eight characters to choose from, it can be hard to decide which of Homeric's many heroes you want to conquer the Aegean with. In video one, we will be discussing the Danaeans, the mighty Greek heroes of Achilles, Menelaus, Agamemnon, and Odysseus. Every character has two mechanics that are entirely unique to that hero and help to color your campaign as you conquer the world of ancient Greece. Together we will discuss each hero's mechanics at a high level, and I will give you a brief overview of the campaign's playstyle, starting with the mighty Achilles. Achilles is one of the mightiest warriors of antiquity, the fabled son that leads the legendary Myrmidons. In the Iliad, Achilles is a demigod, the offspring of Thetis and Peleus. Ruling over the kingdom of Phthia, Achilles has sat on the sidelines of the Trojan conflict until silver-tongued Odysseus convinces him to ride for glory against Troy. Playing as an Achilles campaign centers around two primary mechanics, Hot-Blooded Achilles and Living Legend. Hot-Blooded Achilles deals with the many mood swings that impact those under Achilles' command. There are four different moods that Achilles has, Proud, Indignant, Grieving, and Outraged. These moods will become active, like Proud is currently, based off of a certain campaign events, such as spending too much time in a garrison, which will result in Achilles becoming more and more indignant. With each mood, there are a number of modifiers and penalties that accompany that disposition. Balancing Achilles' mood on a knife's edge will be the key to success in your victories across the Aegean. As a fabled hero of antiquity, Achilles' living legend mechanic plays upon the notion of increasing Achilles' legacy across all time. As his legend grows, so will his confidence, allowing Achilles to spread the influence of Phthia across the land, reduce the upkeep of maintaining his troops, and allow him to recruit more units at an instant as men rally to his banner. His confidence is increased by confronting or locating and defeating any hero in this unique list of challengers, chronicling his achievements in the Defeated Heroes section. With all that laid before us, you will enjoy an Achilles campaign if you're looking for a singular hero that is destructive in close combat and leads a smaller force of elite soldiers. Achilles' battle tactics are geared towards destroying the leadership of his foes at his own hand, while his unbreakable and highly maneuverable units outflank the opposition. Agamemnon, the older brother of Menelaus, commands one of the largest coalition of Greek states across the Aegean. Driven by an all-encompassing lust for power and glory, the king of Mycenae rallied the many kings of Achaea against Troy, determined to raise the fabled city to the ground in pursuit of his own bloody ambition. At the head of an Agamemnon campaign lies two critical mechanics, King of Men and Lion's Share. As an all-powerful king, Agamemnon's King of Men mechanic allows you to appoint the many heroes that you will recruit into your service to various high positions within a special royal court. A hero can be promoted to the rank of Akita, Tarita, or Rawakita, depending on their rank of 3, 5, or 8 respectively. The Akita, or companions, give your hero bonuses to their armies. The Tarita, or landowners, help with construction of buildings and stabilizing the populace. The Rawakita, or leader of the people, is the ultimate army commander, giving a slew of military benefits to their army. This royal court will help you conquer Troy as you expand your vassals with Agamemnon's other mechanic. Lion's Share allows Agamemnon to demand a tribute from the many vassals he will create upon his epic mission towards the gates of Troy. The tax rate slider will allow you to control the amount of taxation on all of your vassals. In addition, you can demand the tribute of a single resource from a specific vassal, depending on your relation with them. Be careful, doing this too often can result in your relationship with the vassal deteriorating, resulting in outright conflict. With these two mechanics, Agamemnon's campaign focuses on expanding your territories through indirect conquest and vassalizing the many tribes of the Aegean. You'll have some of the heaviest and stalwart troops at your disposal, but this campaign is for the players seeking to conquer huge swaths of land. Shrewd and resourceful Odysseus, ruler of Ithaca, was a brilliant diplomat and a trusted advisor to the kings of Achaea. In the Iliad, Lord Agamemnon, in his hour of need, beseeched him to convince Achilles to rejoin the war effort. 
Unlike the previous two heroes, Odysseus is an archer and relies on his wit and guile to defeat his opponents more than the brute strength of Achilles or the overwhelming might of Agamemnon. Safe Havens, one of the two special mechanics of Odysseus, allows his agents to steal away into enemy territory, creating a base of operations for the Lord of Ithaca to recruit more soldiers to his side. This will aid you in expanding off of the island of Ithaca as you will be able to recruit more soldiers from within enemy territory, something no other hero can do. In addition to safe havens, Odysseus also has a mastery of the sea, unparalleled by his peers. The mechanic Coastal Mastery allows you to produce docks in your lands with expanded functionality. Normal heroes only get three tiers of docks, while Ithaca can have five tiers of shipyard, each one giving increased food production, growth, resource bonuses, and line of sight. Also, when the settlement is under siege, the besieged army can leave the settlement via the port. Lastly, the docks also grant Odysseus's armies the capability to recruit islanders, island club warriors, and heavy shielded spearmen at tiers 1, 3, and 4, respectively, some of his fiercest units. While Odysseus's mechanics might not be as intensive as the other Danaeans, his campaign is heavily centered around manipulating diplomacy via spies and envoys. If you want the closest thing to a spy master in ancient Greece, Odysseus is for you. As a peerless archer, his soldiers are mostly light and medium units, relying heavily on their ability to ambush, outrange, and outmaneuver enemy forces on the battle map. This will most certainly test your skills as both a general and a governor, as Odysseus's campaign is one of the hardest. Glorious Menelaus, king of Sparta, was the younger sibling of Agamemnon and husband to Helen. When Paris seduced his wife and fled with her to Troy, Menelaus joined his brother's alliance and crossed the Aegean Sea, consumed by revenge. It is because of Menelaus that we have the conflict that we see all of our heroes in. Through his rage, Menelaus has two faction mechanics that allow him to expand quickly with mighty armies at his beck and call. Call to Arms and Spartan Colonies. Call to Arms allows for Menelaus to recruit unique units from across the Aegean. By simply making a defensive or military alliance with another faction, Menelaus can recruit any units that said faction has at their disposal. Keep in mind that although you can see every faction's strongest units, you can only recruit them if the parent faction has unlocked them. This mechanic plays very well into the large Spartan empire that Menelaus can grow, utilizing the Spartan colonies mechanic. As mentioned, Sparta has the unique ability to send colonists to any discovered and abandoned settlement on the map. For a fee, Menelaus can spend food, stone, and wood to send colonists abroad to make these abandoned cities into settlements of his own, growing his reach throughout the Aegean. The further the settlement is from the Empire, though, the more resources this will cost. This leads to a very different campaign than any of the other Danaeans. Menelaus has the capability to vastly expand his borders faster than any other hero in the game. As a very formidable combatant himself, though, he also leads the heaviest armored and best axemen, allowing his Spartan empire to be a terror on the battlefield. If you want a far-reaching empire that can choose the best units from all factions with a strong military presence, then Menelaus is the campaign for you. The Achaeans have some of the most recognizable heroes in all of antiquity. From the legendary Achilles to the crafty Odysseus, there is plenty of adventure to be had in a Total War saga, Troy between all four of these standout characters. Growing an empire as the Spartans or gathering the tribes of the Aegean to your banner as Agamemnon, you can't go wrong with any Danaean you might choose. In part two of this series, we will be discussing the Trojan heroes in Hector, Paris, Aeneas, and Sarpedon. Tune in next time to discover which of the next four heroes suits your playstyle for your next campaign in a Total War Saga, Troy.